I'm not claustrophobic, are you? What's claustrophobic? That's tight spaces, tight right? Tight spaces. Girl, I, I built a fort one time. Okay. Two times, a few times. I do the times and the fort times. God, I am bad. <laughs> What was that intro? Let's just, let's just, what was that a I minute? Mean, I don't even know what just happened. Not good. Not good at all. So, capsule hotels. Do you like capsule hotels? We're just gonna go ahead and ask right at the beginning. <laughs> yes. I mean, I'm here for the experience. Mm. We stayed in four capsule hotels all together. So I stayed in two, she stayed in two. Mm -hmm. So you guys are about to get a very comprehensive information Compre on capsule hotels. A very comprehensive look into capsule hotels and what they offer as far as, you know, amenities, what you can do, how much fun you can have, and if it's even a good time to be had at the capsule hotel. Mm -hmm. So let's get right on into it. The first capsule hotel I stayed in was nine hours, which is probably one of the most popular capsule hotels in Tokyo. Let me get my notes, you guys. <clears throat> Nine hours is in Shinjuku. I stayed there on a Sunday night and it was $52. So if you know anything about capsule hotels, you'll know that you have your locker. Yep. And they give you some amenities like your towel, yep. your, do they give you a washcloth, slippers, a toothbrush and some maybe toothpaste. Baby, black people are the only people that use washcloths. And then you get your little locker and then you get your capsule. So if you can, you can fit your like carry-on size luggage into the locker. Anything bigger will have to stay at the front desk. And the check-in for nine hours was 1 p.m. and then check-out is 10 a.m. This is by far the worst thing about capsule hotels. The worst Thing. It's like it's literally made for if you miss the train. I don't even think it's a good option if you've been drinking. I really do not think you want to stay at the capsule hotel if you've been drinking because 10 a.m. is going to come so fast and you are still on your last. You know what I'm saying? It's a problem. I don't know why I'm rhyming so much this week. I am sorry. And also going along with the checking out thing, I you have to check out every single night even if you're staying in the capsule hotel for two consecutive nights while they clean the capsules and get everything ready for the next batch of people so that's definitely the worst part about capsule hotels all around this goes for every single one what's the best part the best part is what is the best part the best part to me, it just okay. feels like you're in your own little spaceship, man. Mm -hmm. I don't know, as long as, like she says, claustro claustrophobia is a, is a thing, and you just can't have that if you're gonna stay at a capsule hotel. Compared to the second capsule hotel I stayed at, I would say that nine hours was lacking some amenities. Mm. First of all, the like community room, the view was amazing. You could see a view of the city. It was really pretty but the actual like room it was just small there there were places for you to like hook up your phone or your computer mm -hmm. but it just wasn't really anything to be excited about mm -hmm. also it didn't have any vending machines or a microwave or anything like that granted it was on a busy street so i'm sure there were convenience stores out there there but were a ton of like because i had to walk back to her place um there were so many restaurants around there yeah. that might have been kind of why they didn't feel like they needed to have mm -hmm. food and a, a um, vending machine in there. But even my place had food in there and a vending machine and a lounge area Which we'll and get an internet to. cafe. And a Gosh. So that was just something that I wasn't super impressed about. And it was also the most expensive place that we stayed. Hmm. Now, what about you? Where was the first <laughs> I told well, him. We reserved a capsule hotel for both of us on booking.com. Since nine hours has a check-in at 1 p.m., I was able to go drop my stuff off. And when we got to his, which was a male-only capsule hotel, they didn't open until four. So we were like, well, we want to put his stuff down now. We didn't want to, you know, have to like go rent a locker and do all that stuff. 
So across from the one that he was supposed to be staying at was another capsule hotel. And we and were, they were like, open. Yeah, and it was the same price. So we just canceled our reservation on booking and then went inside of there and made a new reservation. And this place looked cool because it was like a like a manga or like an it internet like cafe. A, I didn't get a lot of footage. They didn't want me they didn't want me doing the camera. I just didn't get any good luck. All right, fine. I won't tell anybody about this experience then. It's not no true. One's, yeah. I'm telling you guys now. We'll put a link to the place in the description box so you can like see pictures of it. But tell us about your experience. So the first room I get has ants. The first capsule. So little enclosed area that I get, there's ants in there. And they are having a party. This isn't like these guys just got here. They've been here for some time. This is their capsule that they also paid for. So I'm seeing them and we're sharing this capsule together and I'm like, this isn't gonna work for me. I really just wanted to be in here alone. So I hop back out, I go and I let the guys know that, hey, someone already has my capsule. So, you know, I, I didn't say that. But I told them that there, there's ants in there. They didn't know what the hell I was talking about. Um, I don't think ants translates to ants in Japanese. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. I think there's, an, there's a full whole word for that creature. Eventually, they grabbed this dude, one of the guys, I guess, who they felt knew a lot of English, and they asked him what the heck I was talking about, and he's asking me, there's pants in here, or in the capsule? And I'm like, no, it's not pants. Ants, so I had to do this. Ants. And that's when they were like, ha, we got you. Okay, we'll just move your room. Also in there, there was no air. No air anywhere. You couldn't even put a quarter in to get air put the total <laughs> on you. It, there was no fan. So luckily, um, they switched me to another capsule. Same, same aisle. And on the further end, where there's a fan blowing right directly onto it. Perfect, I thought. And then you go to sleep that night and you close your thing and the air no longer comes into your capsule. So that sucked. So what I ended up doing was cracking it and having to listen and smell everybody's morning breath drive right oh. on into my capsule while I was sleeping. So it hung on your boy for the rest of the time. Tell and us I, about the shower situation. Shower situation was uh, it was all right. I didn't, because, but he had to pay for the shower. You do have to pay for the shower. Three dollars. So I couldn't use. Or three yen. Three hundred yeah, yen. Three hundred yen. I would have had to have used the, you paid to use the shower there, and the showers wasn't that great. I think the cost of this one was twenty-seven dollars for the night. That was that. Not fun. He did not enjoy it. No, I. I mean, I. I probably wouldn't. I. I honestly will never do a capsule hotel again. It's not their fault. No. It's not their fault. It's just my philosophy on if I'm drunk and messed up for the night, I can't be checking out at ten. Do it for the gram. But do it for the gram. You just like need to do it once. Yeah. But we'll tell you all of the times we went, so stay tuned. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention in nine hours, the alarm situation. So in the morning, I could hear everyone's alarms Me too. going off. Me too. Starting at like 5 or 6 a.m. Every 10 to 15 minutes, I heard an alarm going off and it was the worst thing. Mm -hmm. I was not, I, that, that, that was the worst part about nine hours for me. Another thing that I didn't love about nine hours was that it didn't have TVs in the capsule. Not that that's a requirement, but considering that it was the most expensive one, there was no TV or no TV or good lounge area, that was an amenity that was lacking. My spot, no TVs as well, but what they were lacking in TVs, they more than made up for with manga being all around you, being having things to read, having an internet cafe upstairs that you could go and use and could browse YouTube. Could you get a YouTube. computer? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's okay. like, I went and got a, a computer. How much I was sat that? down. I cannot remember how much it was, but I'm pretty sure it was like 10 bucks for maybe two or three hours. But I'm pretty sure it, was a, it started at $10. Okay. Only problem was, is of course, I really wanted to play some Gundam games there. I really wanted to check out some of the MMOs. I really wanted to actually play video games. Problem is, is of course, everything's in Japanese, so I can't type anything. <laughs> I can't search for much, and even if I made an account, I probably couldn't even access my Gmail. All the terms of agreement would have been in, you guessed it, Japanese. I recommend, like she said, do it for the gram, 
go to one for the experience. It is worth it. Now let's talk about our second set of capsule hotels that we stayed at. Okay. And both of these were in Akihabara. Mm. So the one I stayed at is another kind of popular one, which is called Akihabara Bay Hotel, which is just for women. And it's like nice and pink and it's decorated with like uh, anime men. I don't know. I don't yeah. know if it's a real anime or if it's just something for the hotel. But they're yeah, everywhere. I couldn't tell, man. These guys didn't look like anybody that I knew. Mm. There was no Goku up there, not even a okay. Roman Kenshin. When I checked into this capsule hotel, the person who checked me in was a really nice woman. She spoke oh, you're gonna tell amazing your full story. English. Oh my goodness. Okay. Mm. Like her English was great. It was cool. it was so easy to check in. And then they also have a locker where you can put your uh, luggage in. And again, it's going to be like the size for a carry-on luggage. Mm. And with this, you get a key, but this was an actual like turn key. So silly me, you guys, I left my key. I didn't lock it inside my locker because you need the key to lock it, but I left it inside of the lock. And I like went downstairs or something without my key, so I got locked out of the locker room. So I'm like, oh, okay, dang, that sucks, but whatever. I'll go down to the to the front desk. The lady spoke great English. It should be great. I get to the front desk. It is not the same person, and she does not speak good English, which is fine. I shouldn't expect them to. No. You shouldn't you expect really... them to speak English. We are very fortunate that they try so hard for yeah. us because this they... lady tried. And they do not have to speak English they to you. They don't. So I'm trying to tell her what happened and... She brought out her little iPad and we tried to do Google Translate and it just wasn't translating right. And so she FaceTimed with this guy, maybe he's the manager or something. And she's like, tell him, you know, tell him what you need. And I told him and then he translated it for her. And she's like, oh, okay, okay, okay. And she <laughs> unlocked the door for me. It was a process, it was kind of stressful, but I mean, just that she was trying so hard made it nice. What I liked about this hotel compared to nine hours is that it had so many amenities. Mm. It had a washer and dryer and yes I did do laundry. They had, okay. a couple, <laughs> they had a couple of vending machines and then they had two lounge areas. One had a projector screen and like some couches but then it also had like a TV room so they had some chairs and places to charge your phone and stuff and that was pretty nice too. I will say that this place wasn't as like modern or clean as mm. nine hours was but the amenities make up for that. Okay. And also too I like the capsule better because it had a clock inside and where you could set your alarm so I did not hear people's alarms that morning. It also had like more chargers, it had a TV and a mirror and it was just the actual capsule was nicer. The amenities were far better than nine hours. And this one was only $35. I think this was like a Monday or Tuesday night. That was my experience with uh, Akihabara Bay Hotel. Where did I stay? So your boy stayed at Glanzit Akihabara. The check-in lounge is nice. Uh, you, you take your shoes off right here. This is where your shoes stay. Really, that was that was neat. It was a co-ed one because yeah. there were women and men that were at this one. And I want to say our capsules, not the not the hotels themselves, but both of our capsules were almost identical. Yeah. I didn't have a mirror in mine, but I did have the same silent alarm clock. TV. Um, I had the same TV. It was the same length, same tatami mat that you're pulling down. Like everything was very similar mm -hmm. in that regard, mm -hmm. and I loved it. It was so nice. Oh and comfy. gosh, man! This just goes back to my thing of you guys really got to change policy of kicking us out of tent. Can I slide you like a thousand yen under this table right here, and you let me just chill in here for at least until eleven? Cause good lord, ten is a tough one for me. But other than that, man, this one even had a fan. What? <laughs> I don't know if you'll see it, but I'm pretty sure in the video you'll see me get a drink that was whiskey and coke already like made up for you. And it's, y'all yeah. tell me what it says on the drink. I was highly offended. Did I sip it? You're damn right I did. Did I drink most of it? Yeah, I drank a good portion of it. They had vending machines there? They did. They, 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 no, 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 no. Yes, 
I'm sorry. Yes, in the lounging area they had a vending machine. I didn't use that one. I went to the front desk though because I heard that you could, either the lady told me, I forget where I heard that you could get an alcoholic beverage at the capsule hotel. And I asked her, she provided, I paid, and I was delighted, okay? <laughs> the second one was my favorite by far. Um, I would stay there again if I had to, but I'm gonna probably do my best to not have to stay there. Do we have anything else to say about this capsule hotel video? Oh, man. Good, bad, and ugly. So we'll say the first hotels, I'm gonna rate mine a four out of 10. What you giving yours? I would give nine hours a seven out of 10. And the last one, I will give an eight out of 10. Cause oh. hey, mm -hmm. I'll also did give your thing. <laughs> I'll also give Akihabara Bay a eight out of 10. Boom, 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 boom. So mm -hmm. Check those out. Maybe um, you guys will have different experiences at those specific capsule hotels. And hey, you can come and give them a better review than we did. We hope you guys really enjoyed our video today. Hope you enjoyed us bantering back and forth about whatever the hell we did at our capsule hotels. My name's Tushar. I'm Ariel. This has been Our Green Branch. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so that way you're notified anytime we release a video. We will catch you in the next one.